The Zeebo likes to talk about life while he's shooting people in the face. The Zeebo. What is going on, everybody? It's Lazevo here, and I am coming to you from Washington, D.C. right now. Came down here to visit my boy and co-host of the Cat Daddy podcast, uh, V.A. Silverback, and uh, also uh, Red is Orange. She lives down in this area, too. And I got some other friends down here, so uh, I've been having a good time. But I apologize for the lack of content right now on my channel. I know Modern Warfare 3 dropped, and uh, you guys are all probably really excited to see it. And uh, hopefully you're getting enough from you know some of the other channels you're subscribed to. But uh, again, I apologize, but that's where I've been. So uh, this video you're watching right now, this is uh, a gameplay that I got on release night, actually. And the cool thing about it is, if you look at the people in this game, we ran into a, a group of YouTubers. Uh, some bigger known guys, you know, I am the attack is one of them, and uh, Donald Brown TV is a is another one. They were actually live streaming this that night, and uh, we sort of recognized them. This is the first game we played against them. Uh, we kind of said, you know, it's a cool thing when you run bump into guys uh, just randomly, you know, playing on on uh, on Xbox Live. It's it it like steps it up for us, you know, because it's one of those things where like we always try to win, but then we know it's going to be tough. Because if you're playing YouTubers, you know that they're going to be better than your average players. So we're like, okay, we got to really step it up, you know. And so it was cool that uh, that uh, one, you know, we were playing, you know, stiff competition. And then the other one is that, you know, the, the other thing I thought was cool is that I actually did pretty good. So, um, yeah, anyway, I wanted to bring you guys this game because I think it's really cool when you get to play with YouTubers. Uh, I don't know if any of you have gotten to play with anybody big, like, randomly. Uh, the other thing, the other one that, that happened to me way, way back when, I think before I even had my channel... Uh, I was playing Red Dead Redemption, and I actually got put in a game with C-Nanners, and All Sham No Wow, and Crunk Skunk, they were all playing Red Dead Redemption, and uh, just randomly got put in a game with C-Nanners, that was like, it was pretty cool to me, like, you know, it's kind of neat, you, could, you sort of follow these guys, and you get to know them a little bit through their commentaries, and then when you get a, you know, when you finally get a chance to just randomly play with them, it's pretty cool, pretty cool feeling, and uh but I'm not one of those guys that goes out of my way to play with the, you know people either. Like I'm not gonna, you know, send you messages and join session in progress and all that stuff. You know, that's one of the things that um, that I think people need to need to sort of have some 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 etiquette about. Like uh, the the whole join session in progress. Like um, you know, there's certain friends of mine that that I'm really close to that I play with a lot, and if, if they jump in my party, no no big deal. But uh, you know, if I add you on my friends list, and you know you're one of just a you know one of my close subscribers or something, maybe I don't play with you that often. Um, you know, don't don't join my session in progress all the time, or like you know jump in my parties or whatever, because you know it's happened before. I may be live streaming, I may be um, I don't know, maybe not live streaming because I haven't done that yet, but I may be recording a video. I mean, it's hard to tell what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I may be waiting for somebody to get in my party and then you, like, you know, put it over the top and close it out and then we got to deal with that. So it's not that I don't want to play with you guys and that I don't like having you on my friends list, but it's um, it's just sort of a courtesy thing. Like, for example, uh, the biggest YouTuber that has me on their friends list is Paintball Kitty. And I would never think to, like, jump in her party because the Lord knows who she's playing with or what she's doing or recording or whatever. But if I do, if I kind of want to play with her, I'll, sh I'll just shoot her a message and say, hey... You know, do you have room in your party? What's up? And I think that's, you know, that's the that's the common courtesy way to go about it. Just, so if you are on my friends list, just shoot me a message or whatever. And uh, if I have room, I'll try to invite you. And as always, I'm going to rotate people through my friends list. So if you're not on there, uh, don't worry about it. Like, uh, at some point, I'm sure you'll get on there. I try to keep, you know, a few spots open for my subs all the time. Anyway, back to this gameplay. <clears throat> like I said, this was, uh, this was a fun game. There's some, I'm using the UMP. Um with uh looks like the red dot site and uh this gun this gun was doing pretty well for me um i, I sort of built up through my support kill streaks and um i think i was running uav counter uav and the recon airdrop or whatever it's called i don't know i always forget like it's the osprey gunner is the assault version and then uh there's the support version um i Whatever, I forget what it's called. So, um, anyway, this is, uh, I forget what this level's called. Overpass? Is that right? No. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, something from Gears of War. 
But, um, oh, yeah. By the way, guys, chopper gunners in this game, they rape. People aren't shooting them down near as quick, and, and they drop you really fast. So, um, you see me uh, switch to the default class because that's the only launcher I had at the time. That was... <laughs> That's something that they kind of, it's hard because it takes two of those and you only get one. So you got really got to coordinate that with your team, especially night one like this because no one had stingers or whatever. But um, uh, you see right now the enemy's called in a strafing run. I don't like this thing very much. I don't, it doesn't get a lot of kills for me. But you see like five choppers pass by. But if you haven't seen it, uh, Woody's Gamertag put up a cool video about how to quickly get through your kill streaks. And uh, the one thing he was saying is that if you, Take out, pull out your stinger and take out the middle chopper. It'll actually blow up the two next to it, and you'll get three points closer to your to whatever streak you're working on. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. That was a cool little pro tip. Uh, if you ever see one of those, shoot at the middle one, and you'll get an easy, uh, easy, um, you know, three kills or whatever. So uh, let's see. What else do I want to talk about this gameplay? Towards the end of this gameplay, I think uh, coming up in a little bit. I actually get pretty lucky care package, and I get uh, the Osprey Gunner, which is the first time I've ever used it, and that thing is killer. Like, I don't know, it's probably not that easy to get to, um, you know, working through your assault kill streaks, but getting it out of a out of a care package was a uh, was a gift, especially when you're playing, you know, a better team like this. Um, and uh, the other cool thing that happened is uh, Bros of Stalin was in this game, obviously, and uh, he sort of started talking to I am the attack, and. Uh, he kind of was playing and uh, went and played in his party for a little bit, and uh, kind of got to know that guy. So it's cool. Like it was, we kind of made some made some connections there. It looks like uh, he could be a you know potential guest on Cat Daddy with the Goons. So that, I think that's pretty cool. We're always looking for uh, uh, the next next guest on our on our show. Uh, if there's anybody you guys are connected to and uh, think might want to be on the show, or anybody that you would like particularly like to see. Maybe we can kind of coordinate a, an, an effort to bring somebody on, you know. Like, I don't know if there's if there's someone you really want to have on there. I don't know. what you, If you guys think of anything, leave it in the comments. And uh, we'll see if we can't, uh, you know, Twitter bomb somebody or, uh, you know, whatever. Power, <laughs> strength in numbers, right? This is like the Occupy movement or something. We can get anybody on here, I think, if we all work together. So, um, like I said, if there's anybody you want to see, put that in the comments. And uh, we'll see if we can't make it happen or not. So I apologize, guys, if I, this commentary is a little bit down. I am a little bit hungover. Went out last night here in D.C. Um, we went to a, a bar called uh, Tortoise and the Hare, which is just like a little little bar with a live band, and we just drank a bunch of beer, and then we got into the shots, and, and then I woke up with a hangover. So <laughs> that's, how it, that's how it goes. But uh, uh, don't drink, kids, if you're, <laughs> if you're young. Uh, just it's uh no I, I honestly i like drinking but i like i enjoy it but i do not enjoy the next day and it seems like the older i get the worse it gets so um it, but you know usually once i get the first bad hangover out of the way the next couple of days if i just keep drinking if you know if it's a bender weekend we'll be all right oh yeah so you hear, here you see me get that o osprey gunner when i call this thing in i don't know okay you have to you have to it gives you like a little mini map here you'll see it pop up now what I'm doing, and I didn't know about it at the time, I thought I was selecting where, I want, where I'd like the thing to hover, but actually I'm selecting where I want to drop the four care packages that this thing drops. And so it was probably not a smart move to say, oh, the enemy has A flag, I'm going to drop four care packages directly on A flag. So that's something that uh, you gotta watch with that, guys. So um, you wanna put it somewhere where your teammates are gonna be able to get those packages. Um, somewhere probably around B would be good because then you're still close enough to to the enemy to t to just tear them up. You see, it, it sort of works like the old uh, the old chopper gunner did in uh, Modern Warfare 2, where it's kind of locks in on guys, homes in on them. And uh, at one point, you see me. I think right here, I'm just like peppering like where they're spawning. I think they're all spawning with assassin probably or something. I'm just like peppering them. But this thing just kills it. I don't know how many kills I get in this, but um, it definitely ends up helping me <laughs> helping me in the long run. Pushing me up, uh, uh, pushing me up the leaderboard, but um, yeah. So uh, th I think those are the things I really wanted to talk to you guys about. You know, just the fact that I'm out here, and uh, you know, that's the reason I haven't put up some stuff on my channel, and um, just thought it'd be cool. I'm, I'm probably gonna bring you. I brought my hot hog, so I can definitely get some 2K gameplay out of Silverback. 
I don't know if you guys listen to the podcast. He's always talking about the 2K challenge. And uh, I definitely want to record some some NBA Live gameplay. If any of you guys want to take the 2K challenge and be on my channel, leave a comment in the, in the uh, description, and maybe we can set that up in the next couple days. For those of you that don't know what the 2K challenge is, NBA 2K, uh, 2K12, uh, Silverback's got it out there that he can basically beat anybody, and uh, so he will play anybody anytime. And uh, he'll, he, I think he'll, he said he'll even use uh, the Wizards, so you don't have to worry about him picking like a stacked team. But uh, anyway, guys, I brought my hot pog. I'm hoping to get some gameplay from that. Um, this was a really cool gameplay. I have a lot of thoughts on Modern Warfare 3 that I'm gonna get into in my next gameplay, my next commentary. So uh, maybe I'll do like a review with Silverback or something, and we'll get his thoughts too. But um, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this, guys, and uh, I will talk to you later. Thank you.